Alright, we're back with more Factorio. Here we go. I am Pax, and we are continuing our playthrough of space exploration. Uh, so, we are up at the space station still, and just working our way towards production science. So, let's admire the sushi belt. Take a little ride, cranking out more of the space scaffolding, going through our new systems for the fluids and the data cards, and now we are going to try to build the production science. Oh no, the police are after me. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna do make a junction. I kind of just want to try and get it perfectly aligned. Perfectly. Perfectly aligned. Like that, hopefully. Go back. Okay. Okay, all right. So let's think about then the production science here. Production science. Let's see, so we don't need to build the data cards anymore, of course. We, wait, we do need that. Okay, we need this. Cool the thermofluid. And, yes, this is fine. Okay, and then let's do 0 0.5, not 1,000. Yeah, so that's exactly one machine, two supercomputers. Oh yeah, and then the other thing we need to do is to um, recycle these junk data cards. So that's a big part. And then also then we need something to do this. Come on. Doesn't like this though, but it's fine. So we need a recycling center as well. Let's pin this. All right, how should we start? Let's start with the computer stuff. So let's see, I think I, okay, updated the blueprint so it has one extra. So this was like one annoying thing, but I, if I still just ship down, it's fine, it works. So there you go, that's that's pretty good. I think that works. Oops, wrong way. Darn it. Okay. So let's think. This, then, we need to do this thermofluid. So then we need a assembly machine to undo it to make it. Let's see, okay, so then actually we can put it a little bit lower. Let's see, so for thermofluid, so you're gonna need to unbarrel empty thermofluid. But we're gonna have to do some logic, right? And so then we need this. And I think, I think yes, the plan would be to basically bring the I think do one of these and sort of do the pipe logistics on the far side for the cold thermoth fluid. So then now we can grab some supercomputers and place them down. And we'll just do our standard kind of pipe system like this. Then we want one more for the recycling. The other way. This. Like this. Okay, so that will be the cold thermofluid. And what we can do with the regular thermofluid is bring it back. And, okay, so then, but then the thing is we still need to do, so we're, we're recycling the thermofluid locally. But then we need to make sure, we're going to use a tank to make sure that we can manage it. And it fits like so nicely right here. Look at this. Ooh. Oh yes. Beautiful. Such a nice fit. Pump. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's gorgeous. <clears throat> so then this will be just saying, as long as the thermofluid 
is less than just something it doesn't even need to be very much thousand then then the pump will be enabled so we'll have this buffer of thermal fluid so that it recycles and then we'll be topping it off with this this unloading system that is the idea so then we can just add this and that's actually even the right the right outputs okay so that will be the thermo fluid recycling and the supercomputers so i guess then let's let's yeah let's just kind of finish out a little bit more of the build can we okay there we go this Bring it down this way because I think we need quite a bit of room. So, okay, so we need a recycling center. So maybe we can just put this near the end. We're gonna need this. So, put this right here. And I'm gonna need these guys. So, I wonder if we can maybe not have six of them by using some speed modules. Four, we do seven up for three. We do this. That's three. How about this? I'm gonna try to start using models more. Okay, so then this needs chemical gel. Okay, this has a kind of an annoying arrangement, but I think yes, yeah, so we can put chemical gel on the inside. And plasma on the outside, but then I want the I want everything to be very compact. So we have to make sure that the fluid ports touch that are touching are the same type, just because could be a problem. But then it's but okay, but it's still possible to arrange it such that that's the case. Yes, sure. And then basically, again, how big are these buildings? Sevens. Yeah, so then we'll just do this. <clears throat> so the I think the three, five, and seven pipe all have a junction in the middle, as well as yeah, I think. But the nine and the fifteens I think do not. So so then <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if it's better to do it this way or or what, but. Should I have, should I make these five pipes? I can make these five pipes instead. See, it's, it's fewer entities, I guess, is the idea. So it's like one entity instead of three. I do it this way, so I guess that's better. The thing is, is I need to also make sure that substations can go down. So, you need it here. I don't know if that's much better in the end, yeah. Okay, so, but this is gonna be about the size of, I just wanted to get a sense of how big, big it would be, too. So yes, I, I changed the blueprint just for this very reason, so that when I make this turn, <laughs> that this wire gets connected, yes. All right, this, okay. So that's the gonna be our junction. Then let's just, yeah, just throw down some more of the inserters. <clears throat> let's get this going. I think this will be good. Then, oh yeah, okay, over here we're gonna need, oh wait, we need to also get the chemical gel out. So we can do that, I guess. We just need to move it a bit further. Move it to here. Okay, then give me another one of these guys. Oh, let's see. We gotta put it on the inside too. Oh boy. Should we jump across again? We could. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's necessary to jump across. Let's just do. We can do it like this. Oops. Can I 
think it. Okay, I'm gonna. I should probably have just done this before. So this would be the idea. So we're unbarreling chemical gel, yes. Just do it to there. And then, yes, exactly. Great job. Okay, then let's see. You actually just need inputs, so I'll just take this. We need another substation. And we'll take this, bring it down. Okay, that should be good. Cool, okay, and then you also need to deal with some outputs. So we'll go like this. Two outputs. We'll do this and this. All right, so first we are going to do, now let's just, yeah, work on all the inserters, I guess. Production, production. Then this is junk, junk data cards. Okay, this is gonna be, okay, these guys need two as well. So you're gonna be machine learning data. And scrap. Cool. 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 Oh wait, no, this is different. Blank data cards and broken data cards. Blank, blank. Broken. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and then I think we're good. Everything looks good. Let's start getting it working. I guess you need need it too. And your scrap. Here, I can just copy and paste. Great, okay, let's grab the stuff. So we are going to need thermofluid. We are going to need blank data cards and green circuits. Oops. Wait, did I not? Okay. I see. Thermofluid. I didn't type the number in or something? Okay, it's fine. Green circuits. Not sure if green circuits are on there. Blank data cards. Oh, great, we saw the thermofluid going already. Hey. Then, let's see what else. We need, this is fine, stone and chemical gel. Stone. Chemical gel barrels. Then we need all the stuff for production science. Let's start right over here, prod module ones. 20. Say, what is it? Iron ingots. We'll come back and work on the numbers later if necessary. Vulcanite block 20. <clears throat> but I don't think, okay, so then, yes, these aren't on the system right now. So, I'll put this pile in here. Let's see. We want to just make another one. Then, yes, let's just make this all the stuff we want, so we want, yeah, prod module ones, just do 10 for now, we want iron ingots, vulcanite block, then are green circuits on there? I don't think so. Green circuits. Okay, it's not connected. Yes, connect. There you go. Then, is there anything else? I think that's it. <clears throat> so we should see these things coming in as soon as it goes around. See the 
it's, it's getting pretty big, so it might it's gonna take some time. Oh yeah, let's um let's unrecycle these. I uh, I was I, I was just like trying to let it run a bit. And now I ruined it. I mean, just to see if I could get some decent production. Okay, that's fine. But it's hard to it's hard to keep it going full full pace with the sushi belt as it is. So it's gonna be tough to like get all these things going full place. Oh yeah, here we go, Vulcanite block. Everything's here. As soon as a little bit more Vulcanite block gets here. Hello, Vulcanite block. There we go. Hey, there it is. Dude. Production science packs are produced. Hey. So that's great. I want to though, I need to first add one more thing over here. Like this. Should be good. And yes, basically we want to take the scrap and empty barrels off as well as the production sciences. So we'll just do 10, and then, oh gosh, oops, I'm gonna get rid of these. Get rid of these. I don't have so much junk. All right, you're going to be these. So I want, what I realized as well is just that this is not, it doesn't really work very well with the, alright, I'm going to move it, where am I, am I going to move it, apparently not, oh my gosh, can you please save me some space guys? Then let's see. That's, that's also why. Let's move it. Okay. So yes, the issue is that. Okay, I kind of wanted this here, I guess. What I'm gonna do, right, is. Nope. Use only one lab because we have this one. I don't know. One prod module nine. So we put as much productivity into the lab as possible. And then to make it work faster, I was going to use my one beacon here <laughs> and just give it whatever speed modules it wants. But then, yes, it doesn't quite work very well, so let's uh, kind of want to just take another one of these guys and <laughs> I'm just going to set it up just to pull, and just to have a bit of a little buffer. This is basically it. So. Yeah, we basically just want a kind of little tiny buffer for uh, these inserters. So let's we'll just copy these. Okay, and then we're just going to want to ask for the science packs. So yeah, just, just while I was testing, if I directly pull it off the bus, it, 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 the bus is just too long and slow. That, and it waits until there's only like one or two left until the inserters sort of activate. And so then they don't activate in time, it gets stuck a lot. And so I just realized that just having a little bit of buffer helps. So that's the idea. Just just keep exploiting this little mechanic as well to, um, you know, maximize it. So that's great. 
All right, so then, yeah, we want to put our little red wire into here. We want to take what's in the buffer and put it into the minus one. So then it should be it. Oh wait, we need to, right, yeah, of course, connect the last thing to the inserters. Yes, there we go. That's why it wasn't working. Okay, great. And then we should see now production science be activated. Give me beacons. Give me big mining drills. Give me these guys. These guys. Uh oh. What's going on? Oh, I guess I can just. Just power poles. Oops. Okay, cool. Alright, good. Go. Are we going? Is it going? Wasn't there a production science on the bus? is some amount of it. Tiny one, one, three. Hey. Recycled some data cards. Hey, there's a broken data card. It's not keeping up with the supply of resources probably. Hey, production science. Yeah, there you go. Production science is going. So I think what I want to do, let's see, what is the recipe? Five ingots, six vulcanite blocks, and one. Okay. <clears throat> I think I'm going to up this to 550 and 60. Just to have a bit more throughput, throughput potential for the science. So the science runs a little more effectively. Up these a bit. 15, 16. Cool. Hopefully that helps it sustain a little better. It looks like more inserters too. We're not. <clears throat> this is looking totally fine in terms of throughput constraints and this is working pretty well it looks like. 1.3 makes sense. Great and we got this all going awesome and we have production science coming and consistently running question mark maybe pretty good. Nice. Well, that's great then. We have production science, huzzah. What a major milestone. But yes, I think this will call the session as we zoop around the base one last time, check things out, kind of working pretty hard a little bit, maybe, kind of. Well, we're making production science, nonetheless. Cool, but then yes, I think we'll continue to maybe revamp the space station and I think I kind of want to make remake the mall into one of these offshoots and maybe move the spaceship and do stuff maybe kind of maybe rebuild the space science as well kind of just make it more consistent that's sort of what I'm thinking about next maybe we also could move the landing pad give it more cargo it's it's not good that it's like filling up and sort of staying stuck because yes well we asked for so much solar panel stuff and we're not building solar panels anymore, so we also maybe want to build more solar panels. Cool, but then yeah, we finally got actual beacons too, so now we can really build beacons. Like as soon as we use this, we when we use it to build the next, <laughs> to build the technology to build them. Cool, but then yes, I think we'll wrap the session up here. There you go, Factorio. Iron packs. See you next time.